Having seen it at Sundance, one of the biggest questions that I have is, is there a reason for going from search to searching? Uh, yes, there is. There is a reason. Um, it, uh, so it turns out a, another studio has that title registered with the MPAA in perpetuity. Uh, That'll do it. Yeah, so that, that's, that's, as, that's as short of an answer as I can give to that. I mean, I was campaigning yeah. to make it called Searching based on the movie Search by Anish Chaganti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. or search, <laughs> search based on the, no, based, search based based on the, on the novel, novel pushed, pushed by, by Sapphire. Sapphire. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, or like Lee Daniels, <laughs> Butler, Daniels and Anish's. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah. But for some reason, the studio yeah, did not yeah. want to do that. But gotcha. No, we love Searching. I mean, it's, you know, it's the same title, basically. Yeah, it intrigued me because I know uh, you had worked for Google. Mm-hmm. And I was wondering, I was like, because one of the biggest things that we always do is like making sure the key term like the key word for when people are searching it and I, I didn't know if like you were worried that someone would search up search and get <laughs> that from being yeah 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 yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah. no that was that was early that was brought up early yeah. on um we were like is this is this movie ironically hard to find online <laughs> uh it's all intentional right yeah, yeah. where's margo yeah. where's the movie i mean it's at the end of the day i think most people go search and then they go movie at the end of it but the Yes, that was always yeah. a question, but I think uh, I think the new title definitely hits two birds with one stone. Hopefully, we were going to call it Finding Margo, but that's in a, also in a heart of hearts. I the <laughs> memes coming up from Facebook. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, now I know you produced uh, Fruitvale Station, yeah, which is fantastic, and then I know you helped produce and write this one. Um, the two things because we love covering the themes in a movie. There's two that I have in particular. The first one, obviously, being social media. So obviously, with um, Fruitvale Station, that was a big part of social media because it was caught on camera, and then it became this huge thing that happened in America, and then obviously the movie as well. Um, and then obviously with you working at Google, I went back and I saw some of like the shorts that you had made, some of the stuff that you had made for Google, and the first thing, and I'm sure you've noticed as well, you want us to upload all the photos online because the government wants to keep everything on us, and there's always this thing about like that the <laughs> government is using technology and you know you got black mirror and i know you you guys talked about this a little bit yesterday in the q a yeah um every time there's something to do with technology ai and whatnot that it's always out to get us yeah you guys made a movie where it's the complete opposite yeah still kind of went into it a bit like they start blaming the dad Mm -hmm. the reddit theories all Mm -hmm. that stuff so i'm just curious your perspective of having worked with google of seeing the benefits of technology with the movies that you produce of uh your route in making this movie uh kind of shine a good thing on mm-hmm. technology mm-hmm. and um, your perspective of kind of the stigma that every other movie or TV show kind of has towards mm-hmm. it. No, you should talk about uh, uh, Yeah, so I won't speak on, on Tubbs' behalf for Fruitvale, but um, uh, one big element, and I mean one of the biggest elements of this film that we wanted to do and something that I learned at Google was you know, I, I came into Google as this first as this idea of like, I love this idea of telling telling very conventional stories in unconventional ways. That's one of the reasons I love the idea of working at Google, and particularly specifically at the Google Creative Lab, which is where they made a lot of those commercials. And then while I was there, you know, like you're being introduced to so many, so many, like not only awesome but like life changing aspects of technology, and like how a corporation that is so massive and so big as Google is filled with so many altruistic intentions as far as like, you know, I'm not saying that there aren't anything negative, there isn't anything negative about that, but the people that I got to interact with at Google wanted to make the world a better place. You know, they wanted to help people who, uh, who couldn't communicate, communicate using Gboard or like wanted to, you know, give the internet to people in balloons or Mm -hmm. wanted to like, you know, just, just, do these kind of crazy projects that that only a company like that could use using the technology that it had at its disposal. And like early on, it became this idea that like, man, technology, the way we see it, the way it's presented to a, a normal person like us, it's always so negative. Like Black Mirror episodes are always negative. PSA videos on Facebook are negative. Instagram videos are negative. We're addicted to this, we're addicted to that. We suck, like get off your phones. You know, and like so much of that is true. I'm not, no, none of us are saying it isn't, which is why the movie does touch upon that a little bit. But that's like a slice of the whole thing, you know? And I think like what we wanted to do is just like zoom out a little bit and say like technology can do so much more than alienate us and divide us. It can make us feel, it can make us love, it can make us, you know, connect with one another. 
And ultimately we were like, I don't feel like a movie or any piece of show or content ever has, has really allowed that sort of macro picture. And I'm sure you know, movies can do it better and we'll do it better moving forward. But we were like, I hadn't seen that before. We haven't seen that before. Why not give it a shot at like zooming out a little bit? And hopefully – and it's really cool that you brought that up because that was our intention. Yeah, and like for me, like I mean you know, and you, this is in the movie. Like I'm on Reddit every single day. Like Reddit's basically where I get a lot of my information. Yeah. Um, and obviously we have that awesome shout out to Reddit in the movie. Yeah. And it's kind of like poking fun at how people on Reddit tend to like – turn everything into a challenge and all that stuff but you know like 2009 new year's day i think i I opened up reddit and it was like one of the top videos that were posted there was this video of a young unarmed guy getting shot by a you know law enforcement agent and it was and i'm kind of ashamed to admit i think that was my first time in my relatively naive or sheltered life that i witnessed something like that happening and i remember like um the video was of oscar grant you know getting getting shot on New Year's Eve and I think I remember that on that this is like one of the first real like politicized or first publicized moments of like social media having captured that Mm. there was like 13 different videos that were uploaded and Reddit on somebody on Reddit was like compiling all the different this is like real like this is I don't know if you were on Reddit at the time like you could see links to every single video of different people that night who had shot it from different angles and I remember as, as, as you know younger Sev I was like trying to find the angle that would justify like, yes. oh, there's got to be an angle that shows why the police officer did that and not being able to find that. You know, there was, that angle did not exist because that, that wasn't the case. And I think the internet brought that story to me that I, when I was in L.A. and none of my friends were talking about it, but like Reddit brought that to me. And I think yeah. only years later on when it got the opportunity to help co-produce Fruitwell, it was kind of like my way of huh. like, okay, great. I can actually like have a hand in helping tell the story. Um, like any said, I mean, the internet can do many things, good, bad. And I think what, I think what we try to do with the movie is not portray it necessarily as good, but try – portrayed as it is i mean the movie kind of has little commentary on the good and the bad that comes with that reddit included social media included we just want to kind of portray this holistic natural look at what you know how the internet impacts our lives yeah it's complex it's like a it's like a character in the movie it's just like the internet as a whole and i think i think you guys have the standard i think you guys thanks man thanks especially because uh i think what got us is what we keep calling the uh and you you titled i said it's the first five minutes of up me to, me to go windows, commercial. Yeah, yeah me to go called, commercial, yeah. yeah. And uh, I think that's what got us, because we had just seen 8th grade, and we love 8th grade. Yeah, uh, but love going it. into yeah. it, what got us was some, like, the sounds of turning on the windows and all of it seeing, uh, seeming 1,000% the way that you would growing up when yeah. you open opening up windows and switching to a Mac like we did as well. <laughs> we all migrated, like yeah. yeah. Exactly. And uh, I think the beauty of it is just the authenticity that you guys had with it um, and showing that... You know, I may not always put everything on a calendar. I may not save every picture, yeah. but it made sense on screen. And uh, that's what really resonated with me. So the other thing being um, the theme about parenting. Mm-hmm. So you not only had that theme of like social media and what the internet can do with you, but the idea of parenting and what you had with that. Um, not spoiling too much, right, for those who haven't seen it, but the extremes mm-hmm. about having a parent who's willing to do anything mm-hmm. and maybe having another parent who's willing to do anything and your perspective on it i know uh from fruitville station uh, and even i believe you said your mom was there yesterday? yeah my mom was yeah, there yeah. she plays she's, she's right in the now. movie you know and she pl- she plays uh the <laughs> piano teacher in the film uh as a flyer that loads real quickly that says uh okay. miss shahini and uh, as a piano teacher all my relatives are asking my mom for piano lessons now and she does not play piano yeah, in real life so was yeah. that her voice no. It was not her voice. Just her picture. Okay. Yeah, That's we cool. were. It's actually another, like almost like a mother, a, a, an incredible person named Sylvia Manassian, who then she's not an actress, and yeah. we were able to like coerce yeah, her after amazing, many, like, many months of pleading her to come in. And so she was so sweet. She's like, I don't want to get money. I'm like, we have to pay you. It's a SAC production. <laughs> she's like, can you just donate the money? I'm like, no, we'll give it to you, and you can donate it. Got but it. yeah, I mean, like, uh, you know, parenting is a big part of both of. Our, I mean, we we mm-hmm. come from really small and and strong Tight families, families yeah. and and uh, and you know, like, I think. It's so funny, like the the projects that we've done together, including Seeds, the on yeah. Google commercial, you know, you know what it's about. Like they've always kind of to be about parents and kids, and it's kind of a it's something that we can really speak to. And I think early on in making a decision to tell the story, obviously it's a thriller, it's a mystery, it has a lot of crime elements, but at its core, it's a story about a father and a daughter. And I think that's what we resonated. That's what made us want to pursue the film. Yeah, we want we wanted to make a movie that. Sev said this yesterday. It's like at one point, if you kept thinking that this was a movie on a computer screen, you, we would have failed. Mm-hmm. You know, at one point, we just have to tell a story. You know, like and like, ultimately, that story became about parenting and and and, and trying to make, you know, again, without like you said, without giving too many spoilers, it's like trying to make every 
thread of the movie ultimately connect back to that same point mm-hmm. of like how far a parent willing to go for their kid. Yeah. Oh, watching it the second time, most definitely. We were catching things, Sick. That's makeup awesome. on some characters, some little Easter eggs here and there. So yeah, the final yeah. question that I would have, yeah, since makeup. we always love pushing <laughs> yeah. like the hidden details and giving people to uh, yeah. watch the movie more than once. We have our favorite Easter egg. Yeah. But what is the one Easter egg that both of you have that you hope that someone catches? Maybe okay. not in the first. Uh, I'm gonna, Real, I'm, Easter egg related to the film or Easter egg like about? I think it's anything. General. All right. Okay. I'm not willing to disclose this Easter egg yet. Okay. It'll probably disclose it after. What is it? You know what it is. I'll tell you. You'll find out in two seconds. But like, once the movie premieres, reach back out. Okay. Because I'd love to have a, like a four-hour conversation with I you don't. on camera about this. But there's one Easter egg that we fought to put in there that is throughout the entire film. There's a whole other far oh, larger God. thing happening yeah. oh, in the man. background of this, oh, boy. of this world. <laughs> yeah. And by we is. and by we fighting really hard to get the story in. Okay. Sam is saying I fought very hard against, <laughs> against the entire me. editing team. It was just like we have to put this one storyline in the movie and thread it in the news articles in the background. Yeah. And we were like, I'd be oh curious because I know you watch you guys watch movies yeah. really closely. Like there's one enormous, like world changing event happening in the background of the story. Yeah. That I, I'm really curious to see if anybody catches on. What about you? <laughs> uh, that's not my favorite one. Um, uh, but uh, I think for me, my favorite Easter eggs, I mean, there's, there's so many. But uh, uh, my, uh, the, the, on a personal level, I think, like, you know, I, 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 I was able to put – we were all able to put our friends and yeah. family into this movie. You know, and, like, every side character in the movie, every character in the movie is, like, literally named after my friends and family. And, like, their pictures are – they all match up. It's their photo, their name, and that, that's always been fun for me. Um, there's, there's one hint in the, in the film. I, I, I mentioned this yesterday, I think, of, like, how much of an influence M. Night Shyamalan is, has, has had on my career, especially as a reason to kind of get into movies. Um, when David first gets onto Margot's computer, on the right side, there's a news article on Facebook on the top three. You know, like they have like the three news articles. One of them says M. Night Shyamalan is the header, and the, sub, and the description of it is filmmaker agrees to meet with super fan director after surprise cameo <laughs> in film. So I think that's my ultimate play to kind of get into get, get, get in a meeting and, and get in a room and be like, oh my God, I love you. But uh, if he notices it. yeah, if he notices it. I, I, have a, I have a feeling, I have a feeling if, if the movie is coming out on the scale that it will come out. Uh, someone's got to slip him that that screenshot. It may be me though, under like making up like eight accounts <laughs> and being like, "Hey, dude, this guy like check out this guy." <laughs> like, he slipped him. Uh, yeah, he made a great movie. Uh, we'll, no, we'll definitely try to push it out there as much as we can. Thank, thank you, man. Really thanks for fantastic. Yeah. Appreciate it. Man. Thank, thanks for seeing it's very nice for sure. to say. Yeah, definitely. All right, thank you. Yeah, thanks, thank man. You, man. But as soon as I stop. <laughs>